good morning happy sunday uh quick apology my husband is showering that's why i'm doing my makeup out here on the floor and so you can probably still hear the shower but i'm gonna do my makeup while i talk to you guys about going to a new church today and just kind of update you guys on all things church i guess so if you didn't know me and my husband are christian and we were going to a church in texas that we absolutely loved and it was like one of our biggest reasons we didn't want to move from texas not only was the church itself amazing but the people were amazing and i pretty much just knew we would never find a church like that again <laughs> it was a pretty big church because it was a pretty big city so it's easier to find a church like that but it was still like super biblical the pastor was so good like he was able to give great biblical messages while still being entertaining and, and then our group was amazing and we had like really deep awesome bible studies and part of the reason it was so amazing was because they had like a full orchestra choir and the worship pastor was so talented so the music was always great which all of that is really just a bonus my biggest thing when looking for a church is that they're biblical there's places for us to plug in that i could see our family being able to be raised there one day and that they're like a healthy church all those kind of things so we obviously moved to missouri in july and we've been church hopping so let me just count how many churches we've been to real quick so where did we start i think we've been to seven churches if not it's probably like eight or nine but for sure seven and missouri is in the bible belt and you would think oh my gosh that makes it so much easier i honestly feel like it's making it harder because there are so many churches and this video is not at all to bash other churches i truly believe that like you know god wants people at different churches for different reasons and we're all the body of christ it's fine but there are a few churches that we had to kind of say no to and not go again because they were taking verses out of context or we went to one church where they didn't even talk about god it was like a motivational speech and i was like uh okay that that is concerning like that's something we should be talking about but as far as the churches that were you know biblical and all that we just felt like that's not where god wanted us it just you know when we went to our church in texas it was like immediately oh this is exactly where god wants me to be and we just haven't gotten that yet and if there's one place to be like picky it's going to be the church that you are going to the church that you plan on raising your family in the church that you're comfortable bringing guests to like i feel like a church it's okay to be picky to an extent you know like you gotta offer grace to everybody but to an extent i feel like it's fine to be picky for a church and ultimately we've just been praying about where god wants us so we were going to this one church but it is more of like a college church which is why we decided not to go there and they did have resources for families and stuff but we just felt like it was definitely fully geared towards college people and we want a church that's going to be mostly geared towards families which i still love that church we'll visit if we you know have friends who want to go or whatever so then after that we moved on to like a different church we just chose a church to you know go try out it's been pretty good we've been going there since november but honestly most of february we like barely went to church which is like okay i can make up excuses which church is not the end all be all it's your relationship with god but church is super important i think it's so important to be connected with the body of christ and to be you know communing with each other every week so we've been going to this church but then we we're like not going and i was like okay if we're not going that probably means that there's a reason because in texas we just never ever ever wanted to miss like it was the best church ever we connected with the people all that stuff so maybe it's time that we look for a new church and like i'm not gonna sit here and nitpick all the reasons that we don't want to go to the church that we've been going to or whatever we just decided for reasons that i don't feel the need to share online because it is a great church and all that um we just don't feel like it's where god wants us to be so we're trying out a new church today and honestly it's been a little bit exhausting and like not motivating to not have found like our people are people that we're gonna fit in with and go to their weekly stuff and hang out with outside of church because we just had such a great community in Texas and it's been low-key challenging to not have that. I can't compare. I feel like it's not fair to be comparing but at the same time I'd like something similar. <laughs> so I just don't know where we are called to be quite yet but I looked up this church online. It looks really amazing. I watched some of the sermons online. Sounds very biblical. Looks like they have a lot of families and ways to plug in so we're gonna go try it out today and i'm vlogging our experience this is like the 10th time we've done this that is pretty much it for my makeup i'm just gonna curl my lashes i've been doing like no makeup makeup a lot recently so that's what this is Ta-da! okay let's check out the hair situation i'm scared yeah okay um 
I have my curling iron, but we're also like kind of running out of time. So I might just have to go with the classic claw clip half up situation and then it probably looks fine. Let's put on my clothes first. My doorknob broke. Ugh. There we go. All picked out. All right, we just got back and we picked up coffee on the way home. Uh, our Sunday plan is usually just hang out. We're probably gonna hang out outside and then go to family dinner later because my whole family has dinner together on Sundays. But a little bit of a recap talking about the church we went to. I rated it off of just first impressions like a nine or 10. Like it was like really, really good. Um, it honestly reminded me a lot of our church in Texas. It kind of gave the same vibes. Even like the worship center sanctuary thing was set up the same way and the music was really good and the songs that they chose were like biblical songs talked about God and glorified God and one of the songs was The Great I Am which was one of my OG favorite worship songs and that just really got me I loved that and a bunch of other really great songs and then the pastor it was a guest pastor today because the pastor is he's on sabbatical or something I'm not sure anyway so it was a guest pastor and we've had a lot of experiences going to churches where it's always a guest pastor for some reason when we go visit and they're always bad no offense but this one was really good. He just basically read scripture and we just talked about scripture. We were in numbers and he tied it into Jesus, obviously, because everything in the Old Testament points to Jesus. And a lot of it was just like, I'm like, oh, cool, cool, cool. So this was written for me personally, right? Got it. Just so many things were exactly what I needed to hear. And so just off first impressions, I think this is a church that we're gonna go to. We obviously still need to check out their classes and kind of go a couple more times, see how things work at the church, but I, have a really good feeling about it and um i still need to like pray about it and spend time with god about it but just off of like first impressions and praying for discernment before we went it seems like the place that we're gonna be so i really really like it <laughs> and that makes me really happy because finding a church has been difficult it's been like almost a year it's been like eight months at this point of trying to look for a church so i'm really glad that we're potentially finally finding our home church and so i just wanted to bring you guys along share a little bit of the journey oh just so you guys know what we were reading it was numbers 9 through 16 so thanks for coming along with me let's have a good rest of our sunday and i'll add to this conversation the more things that i think of oh but we got in the car and did like a debrief debrief after and we both agreed like biblical based everything was great we really like it we had some really good discussions based on what the sermon was about in the passage so that's awesome and honestly you can never go wrong with a church that's literally just like reading scripture like just reading scripture always is gonna hit so love that it's really nice outside so we're gonna do a little hangout with our cats outside on their leashes so we're setting up a little sit area all right time to go get the cats Go play! Griffin <laughs> was like shaking because he hid the toy. Phoenix is immediately off to go explore. Griffin's like, ah, I don't know what's going on here. seen me go to church and my first kind of thoughts of this church that we went to I thought it'd be good to hop in and talk about what makes a good church what to look for in a good church and before I say any of this I just want to say please pray about it use discernment my word is not gospel I'm just a person turn to God's word turn to the Bible pray okay but these are like some basic things that I look for in a church that I prayed about and these are kind of some of the main things that I find extremely important so if you are needing guidance whether you're a new Christian just moved somewhere or whatever maybe this could help you in finding a home church I don't know why I'm nervous I never talk about like my faith this like intensely I feel like anyways um yeah disclaimer this is for Christians Bible believing Christians looking for a good Christian church so this is all gonna be biblical here we go first is the church biblical this is the utmost important thing that you could be looking for in a church and pretty much everything after this it's because we believe bible the bible to be god's word so let's continue on how do they approach the current culture while staying biblical 
Okay, we wanna make sure we're staying biblical here. It's, it's all gonna come back to that. Can you grow in God's word and your relationship with God through this church? Whether that's plugging in somewhere, the sermons on Sunday, it's teaching you new stuff, having people to pray with, whatever it is, is it pushing you to grow? And is it encouraging? Encouraging to evangelize, get involved, get closer with God, really just furthering your walk with the Lord. Of course, we also wanna pay attention to any red flags, like are there any straight up false teachings. My best advice here and knowing about false teachings is first and foremost, read the Bible and pray. The Bible will let you know what's a false teaching and what's not. Now, if you want further help with this, there are so many good tools out there, but even just looking at church history and the original heresies that the church has dealt with, you can learn a lot from that because there is nothing new under the sun. So whether it is straight up heresy or just something a little more subtle that doesn't align with God's word, you don't want to be going to that church. That is like red flag, boom, 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 don't go there, okay? Is Jesus the sinner or are they elevating pastors, teachers, non-biblical teachings, anything besides Jesus? Obviously, everything should be about Jesus. And going off of that, does the church overall, its goal to glorify God? God should be glorified, honored, and worshipped through all of church. So if we're not doing that, that's going to be a red flag. Do they consistently teach straight out of the Bible? Now, there are different ways to approach sermons. It could be topic-based, it could be a verse, it could be a chapter, and all of those are great, but we do wanna make sure we're including scripture, that scripture is in context, that we're not twisting scripture to fit what we want it to say, which comes back to being biblical. But some of my favorite churches literally just read out of the Bible. Those are always great. Do they pray often? Obviously, we know prayer is a huge part of our walk with God. Jesus prayed all the time. Prayer is so important. So are they praying a lot? And within the groups, are you praying for each other? All that kind of stuff. Do they teach the full gospel? I have noticed this starting to become an issue, but basically do they teach the full gospel? Not just to get to heaven, but like living for Jesus every single day in the now. Are they teaching it all or are they just using God's name to give a motivational speech? I have encountered this. It's a real thing. Barely even talking about God and just giving a motivational speech, not using the Holy Spirit. We don't, we don't want that. Now, keep in mind through all of this, there are disputable and indisputable matters within Christianity. One of my favorite chapters that kind of talks about this is Romans 14. So for instance, a non-disputable matter would be Jesus's deity, the Trinity, that Jesus is the only way to heaven, that Jesus lived a perfect life, died, was crucified and rose, defeated death and ascended into heaven. Okay, that is like non-disputable, right? But there are disputable matters such as maybe your interpretation of revelations or a personal conviction that isn't inherently a sin, but some people have personal convictions about. I feel like this goes a lot into denominations. There are many different denominations. I'm not gonna get into that in this video, but for the most part, denominations are different based on disputable matters. Because at the end of the day, there are the tenets of Christianity that we all agree on, all believe in, and makes us the body of Christ. Do the people there actually show God's love? You could refer to the fruit of the spirit are they showing those is it obvious in this church do they help you understand biblical teachings whether this is adding historical context helping you understand original language the context within scripture whatever it is are they helping you further understand biblical teachings and of course is there a place to get involved and of course this is going to depend on where you are in life like if you're in college is there a place for that if you're single is there a place for that if you have a family is there a place for that wherever you are is there a place to plug in and get involved i'm not saying it has to look a specific way god will sometimes surprise you and how he wants you involved in a church but just in general is there a way to plug it and of course with all this once again please use the holy spirit please use discernment pray about this okay this is going to be a very important decision if you're going to this church long term you want to make sure this is right where god wants you and you have the holy spirit okay so listen to him now these are more like personal things that you know we already have this is all really important this is kind of like a subcategory if they have these things it's just even better so whether this is in a small group or they talk about it in the sermons um are there ways to go deeper such as learning about church history understanding the spectrum of beliefs so like those disputable matters such as let's say crazy big one, predestination versus free will. Do they teach like all the range so you can further understand why people believe what they believe and can kind of dive into that yourself? Do they often refer to the original language, historical context, how to evangelize, how to incorporate God into your daily life and rely on him? Do they teach you good theology and apologetics? I think all of those can be really important but are like a subcategory, I guess. And one of the big things for me is during the 
song portion of worship is it about jesus or is it about me there are a lot of good christian songs out there that are a little bit more me centric and i personally might not call those a worship songs i want it to all be about god i'll be referring to what god has done who he is his attributes in our song portion of worship there are a lot of amazing churches and if you live in america you probably have hundreds of good churches surrounding you so that's why it's so important to use discernment and pray because god might want you in a specific church even though there's like 10 really great churches or whatever and remember that church is not just a building it is the people we are the church we are the body of christ so as long as a church is hitting those main points that we talked about at the beginning they're following the tendency of christianity they're not speaking heresy then you can always find people within a good healthy church to dive deeper with so remember that the pastor is not the church well we do want a good pastor he's not the church we do want good groups but they're not the church each individual is what makes up the church you are the church and also, just one more thing, I would also say don't go just off the feeling or the vibe. While it's great to go to a church that makes you feel hype and stuff, worship is about God, it's not about you or how you feel. Having a great atmosphere could be great, but if they're speaking heresy, then a great atmosphere doesn't matter. So while it's a great thing to have a good feeling about a church, it's even more important that they follow biblical teachings, that you're praying about it, that you're using discernment to truly understand if this is the church where you should be. So while I had a great experience and off the rip, I'm like, this is great, it seems great it seems to be hitting a lot of these points and i had a good feeling about it i've been praying about it over this week we'll probably go for like a month or two before we like fully decide if that is going to be our home church so if you've been looking for a home church and you're feeling discouraged keep trying keep praying going to church is so important and keep trusting that god has a plan for you and of course this list could go on forever i think it's okay to be picky about a church you want to go to but if they're hitting these like main points then everything else should kind of fall into place and if you guys have any other things you're like oh make sure it has you know you can comment that down below we can we are the church so let's commune in the comments and talk about it what do you look for in a good church and as someone who did not grow up going to a biblical Christian church I find this to be extremely important something I'm very passionate about and I just wanted to help you guys out so hopefully this helped I was gonna keep vlogging the rest of my Sunday but I feel like since we're talking about something so important involving God I just kind of want to stop this here and not really continue the rest of the vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing me talk about this, talk a little bit more openly about my faith. I wanna try to make more Christian-centered videos when I feel called to do that by God, when I have a good idea. So they'll be kind of rare, but they'll be there. So be expecting some soon and check in in like a couple months to see if this is the church where we ended up. <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.